have to do these awesome trees. These are just paper mache cones and different types of yarn. And that's really all there is to it. Let me show you what you need to get started. You're gonna to wanna to follow my link. I'll put it in the show notes and get some paper mache cones. Any type of embellishments that you wanna add are perfectly fine. These are just little iridescent sparkles. And I noticed they don't show up very well on the video. So for that, I apologize. Here, just regular yarn. This one here is so cool. This is called Go For Faux and it's by Lion Brand. And I'll make sure and put a link in the show notes for that as well. You know these things sell for high dollar and you're gonna make them for next to nothing. You're gonna want some school glue. If you decide to do the one that looks like knit, which is really fun, all you have to do is know how to do a single crochet chain. So you're gonna want to have at least one crochet hook. Scissors for stopping and starting the yarn. Something to apply the glue with. So a brush or a sponge. And really that's it. Let's get started. All right, everyone, let's get started. This is the fun part, right? Let's put some glue in our bowl. Okay. And I don't know if you prefer a sponge or a brush. I actually like the brush a little bit better. And what I'm going to do is just make about an inch or two around with glue. And I like to start at the bottom, well, because of gravity. And if you start gluing at the top and it starts dripping or dropping down, it's not going to look as even. So you want to start at the bottom and build up. Um, let's start with just the yarn so you can see how that looks. This is going to be the most time consuming one, but it actually looks so fabulous. You're going to want to start right along that bottom edge and just lay that down as smooth as you can all the way around and literally do this while you're watching something fun on TV or listening to a podcast because this one does take a while. And the reason it takes a while is because the yarn is so thin. So just keep going and going and you can take breaks if you need to. So see now I'm on the second row. And I, I don't want there to be a gap between the rows. So I'm gonna push those down so that they touch really nicely. And if there is a gap, that's okay. It'll just look a little bit more homemade. So just keep going around. Like I said, this is probably the most time consuming one because the yarn is so thin, but that's what this one is made from. It's just thin yarn. And then I, when I got to the top, I looped it around and I finished it off at the bottom. And then I, dribbled some glue, and then dropped some sprinkles in the glue. And I really hope some of these sprinkles show up on the video because I don't think they are. Um, let me show you how to do the crochet. It's basically going to be the same thing. You're going to knit, or I'm sorry, crochet a single chain a single stitch chain. See how pretty that is? <laughs> it's pretty, but this one I guess is a little time consuming as well. So you can see I've got a little bit done. I'm just gonna pull that loop out a little bit and just show you. For this one, it's really the same thing. You're just gonna lay it in the glue and then keep going. So you'll want to make sure you have quite a bit of chain made before you get started, especially if you have a really tall comb. I'm going to pull this off. Let me show you this wonderful, wonderful furry yarn. I'm going to start it at the bottom. And there is a front and back on this yarn, so just make sure that you're using the back when you glue it. So you don't want the back to show. And then just keep going around in circles. 
until you are all the way to the top. All right, you can see I'm almost finished here at the top. I'm just gonna put a lot of glue. I hope you like the way this project is coming out. And then I'm just gonna keep twisting it and pushing it down. So I get all the way to the top where I want it. Right there. And then I'm gonna cut that. Oh, please use better scissors than I have. Mine are kind of dull. And put another little bit of glue and then I'm just going to hold that for a few seconds. If you end up with a spot in here that looks kind of bald, go ahead and put a piece of yarn in there. It'll fill in nicely. And there you have it. What do you think of that one? Let me show you a little bit closer detail on the crochet chain. I just love it. And then of course you'll start gluing at this end and as you if you need to make the chain longer, make the chain longer. So you just start with chain, and then you just single crochet. And it's gonna take a lot of single crochet. You're gonna want probably an entire skein of yarn. I just have a small yarn ball here. But what's fun is you can combine different textures and kind of say in the same color scheme for your winter garden of trees. So just keep going. And then you can see I just started at the bottom and then as I crocheted, I just wrapped it around.